Hello, in this video we will look at um, the apparent weight of a lady in a lift. This is a uh, one of the most um, frequently asked questions that students ask me is how to do this style of question. So here is a lift. I'll draw a box for a lift. And on the lift we will have um, some scales that measure the weight of a person standing on and we'll have a lady so i start with her feet probably not the best way of drawing it um there you go there's the body arms head arms okay so lady on on the lift now the first thing you need to consider let's make your feet a bit bigger are the forces acting on the lady now the forces acting on the lady are her weight which is represented by mg acting down from her. So we have mg is acting down. And also we have the reaction force that is from the scales. These are the scales here. So if I write the word scales here, and put a line to that from the scales, and that is the scales, the force from the scales acting up on her. And I call that force R, the reaction force. Now, when the lift is not moving, or it's moving at constant velocity, you will find that um, the reaction force is equal to her weight. Okay. However, what she will notice is when she's going up and down the lift, if she's accelerating up or accelerating down, um, she'll find that her apparent weight feels differently. Now, what is measured on the scales? Is it her weight or is it her apparent weight? Well, the, the reaction force on the scales will change as she accelerates because she'll feel greater force. So therefore, something will change. Now, it can't be her weight. So in fact, when she stands on the scales, or in fact, when anybody stands on scales, what's being measured is not, um, in fact, their weight, it's a reaction force to the weight. And in ordinary um, circumstances, when there's no acceleration, therefore, they should be equal to each other, given by R equals mg. Okay, now in a moment, um, we'll look at what, what happens um, when there is an acceleration um, either up or down. So I'll rub this screen off um, and we will start again with more space. So I'll draw it again. Here is the lift. Here are the scales. Here is the lady. I'll draw it like this first of all. Okay, now um so the force is acting on her right weight acting down and we're going to have a reaction force r acting up now this time notice that the reaction force is greater than her weight so in fact i'm going to say that the lift is in fact accelerating up when something's accelerating up you feel a bit heavier so what what changes well the reaction force is going to be greater than the weight and if you apply Newton's second law, which is resultant force equals mass times acceleration, so there are the two forces acting on there, you'll find that R minus mg equals mass times acceleration. So we get a formula here, which gives us that the reaction force equals mass times acceleration plus mg, which is her weight. So let's say, for instance, acceleration in this case is equal to 2 and let's say that her mass is equal to 50 kilograms and acceleration due to gravity will approximate that as 10 what we find out is that her reaction force in fact what is read on the scales is equal to ma so m times a is 500 plus m times um, G, oh, mistake there. So, in fact, 
let's write it out rather than guess. So from here before, R equals MA plus MG. Her mass is 50. The acceleration uh, due to gravity is 10. So MA, because A is 2 here, so that's 50 times 2, so that's 50 times 2 plus her mass times gravity, 50 times 10, which equals 100 plus 500, which equals 600 newtons. So the reaction force is 600 newtons. Her weight would feel 600 newtons. So in fact, her mass should actually feel like she was um, 60 kilograms. OK, we'll look at the same situation in the opposite direction now. So what, what happens when lift is accelerating down? Now, when you're at lift accelerating down, you feel a bit lighter. You're not lighter, of course, but you feel a bit lighter. So, here we go. Lady in a lift. Now, this time, you'll find that her weight, acting down, mg, is bigger than her reaction force, r. The acceleration, let's say, is equal to 2 metres, second of the minus 2, is acting down. The lift is accelerating down. So when the lift is accelerating down, you can write mg minus r equals ma. And as before, her mass equals 50 kilograms. Gravity is equal to 10 meters second minus 2. So therefore, we have, we rearranging that, we will get r this time will equal mg minus ma. So if we take it across here, r equals mg minus ma, which equals 50 times 10, which is 500. Take away mass times acceleration. Take away 100 is equal to 400 newtons. So she will feel a weight of 400 newtons. Um, if you want, of course, her weight will still be uh, 500 newtons, so therefore, effectively, it will feel as if she's 40 kilograms.